start our business by taking up question number, start question number 138. Krishna is Grave Walla and Honorable Chief Minister Punat Krishama is to reply. So reply to star question 138. So the state government is implementing several schemes, programs for creation of employment opportunities. These include uh, MGNREGS, CM Elevate, Prime Program, Focus, Focus Plus, Mission Mode Programs in Agriculture, Meghalaya Grassroots <coughs> Music Project, Chief Minister's Youth Center, National Rural Livelihood Mission, Skill Meghalaya. Uh, you have any supplementary question? Uh, yes, Mr. Deputy sir. Yes, sir. I have five supplementary questions. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, may I know from the Chief Minister, what is the employment rate in Meghalaya and what is Meghalaya ranks nationally? Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I am presuming he meant the unemployment rate, yes. because he said employment rate. So, uh, so the uh, unemployment rate on average in Meghalaya is around 3%, and uh, whereas at the national average is around 4.7%. Uh, regarding the ranking, sir, I will not have the ranking with me, but uh, we are below the national average on, on average, sir. Thank you, Honorable Chief Minister, for your reply. Uh, under various intervention and schemes, as pro I provided in the answer, may I know the data the youth are being employed in the last three years? Sir, uh, again, uh with that there's no specific breakup of youth, uh, but uh, in general, the different employments created for the citizens, in general, sir, uh, through all these different programs that we have done, is uh, roughly 2.34 lakh jobs uh, opportunities have been created in the last three years. Another supplementary. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, may I know from the Honorable Chief Minister, how many jobs aimed by the government to employ the youth this year? Sir, as uh, was mentioned in my speech uh, in the, of the budget that I had given, and I'll be speaking more on this extensively, that in the next uh, five years, uh, we are uh, Programming, we are working towards creating uh, close to 5.5 lakh jobs uh, in the next five years. Uh, and of course, as I said, in the last three years, we have touched almost 2.34 uh, lakh jobs. Uh, we will target, sir, as much as possible uh, in every year, but our target is for the next five years, 5.35. So uh, it will be not possible for me to give a specific number as to what is going to be the outcome in this particular year because it depends on the multiple programs that are run. But even if we were to average these 5.35 lakhs, which we, uh, 5.5 lakhs which we expect in the next five years, that I roughly estimate anything plus minus one lakh jobs to be created uh, through different programs of the government on an average in the next one year. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Deputy, sir, may I know from the Honorable Chief Minister, how the number of youths get employed in the government sector for the last two years? So the last two years, uh, again, I don't have the exact number with me because this number was being collected from different departments, but I can give a rough estimate uh, uh, to you of the major departments that were there. 
we had uh, in the medical department, we had over uh, 500 jobs that were created in the government sector. That is purely doctors alone, sir. Uh, we had, uh, then we had uh, jobs being created uh, in terms of the nurses and other technical staff, which again uh, was above 300 numbers. Uh, we had in the police itself, we had uh, close to 1,000 jobs that were uh, uh, people who were employed. Uh, in the teaching also, we had close to 1,000 uh, that were employed. And hence, even if you look at these big sectors that I'm talking about, sir, we are touching almost 3,000 jobs we created in the last three years. Uh, apart from the different casual employees or uh, contractual basis and the different jobs created at the uh, district level, these are not included, sir. Uh, those numbers we were not able to collect as it's, it's very, very vast. We have to collect from all the departments, all the casuals and all the district uh, levels also, there are casual employees. Hence, uh, I just gave the rough uh, figure of the larger uh, departments which had uh, created uh, or had uh, appointed our youth. Last. Yes, sir. Middle question. Uh, thank you, Honorable Minister, for your extensive reply. My last supplementary question, Mr. Deputy Sister, may I know from our Honorable Chief Minister, for the last two years, no applications were called in the DSC, District Selection Committee. May I know from our Honorable Chief Minister, when can the DSC start calling for the vacant lying post in each district? Sir, uh, uh, the, it's not a fact that uh, the district selection committees have not been calling. I don't have the exact number with me, but uh, I do recall replying to one of the supplementaries at one point where different district selections have been recruiting. Though the number has not been at the level desired, but on and off, almost in every district there have been recruitments. There could be one or two districts where there may have been uh, lesser recruitments, but those exact numbers are not with me. But it's not a fact that there was no recruitment at all. There was recruitment, but not at the desired pace. Now, why was that not happening? I have replied to that also last time. It's not happening, sir, number one, because of the fact that uh, we had the issue of uh, COVID. Number two, sir, we had the issue of the court cases in terms of the roster. And third, sir, once the roster system was implemented, there was a bit of confusion and uh, a bit of complication in terms of the clarifications of the district uh, selection committees where they wanted, uh, where they had to take approvals from the, uh, from the personal department before calling the interviews. But even that now we have changed and we have now allowed the district selections headed by the deputy commissioner to go ahead, approve the vacancies and go ahead and, uh, and um, call for the recruitment. Uh, and only if there's a confusion will the department, will the district selection then take approval or get clarification from the, from the personal department. Otherwise, they are at liberty with the approval of the chairman, which is the deputy commissioner, to go ahead. So I expect that the, dis the process of this district selection will be much faster after this clarification and this notification.